are watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Right now. An incredible $95 billion is spent on personal care and makeup products across the globe every year. But as CBS 2's consumer reporter Kirsten Cole finds, you may have a way to shrink your own bill by just heading to the corner drugstore. Try to keep a smoky eye very soft. Personal makeup consultants, specialized brow shapings, in-store celebrity appearances. If you're thinking this is an upscale department store, it's time to check out your local drugstore. Definitely feels a lot fresh and new. I mean, yeah, it doesn't feel like a Dwayne Reed. From Dwayne Reed to CVS, they're pushing aside the pharmacy feel and going glam, importing big-name cosmetics that formerly were only found at exclusive department stores and adding sprawling boutique makeup and skincare sections devoted to the upscale shopper. Right now I was just like shopping at Macy, so right now I just, you know, drop by here. And by providing the classic department store cosmetic client with the little tiny boutiques of makeup as well as samples that she can easily get her hands on, drugstores are hoping to take a bigger bite out of their bottom line. Celebrity hairstylist Peter Lamas made the switch with $38 billion spent around the globe every year on hair care products. He's now pushing his six-year-old organic organic hair care line at Dwayne Reed. We felt that it was a great opportunity for us to just bring it to the mass market. But the strategy may not be persuading everyone to walk away from their favorite department stores. The quality of the product that I happen to be looking for, like a, a face makeup, I might go to a department store, but like a lip gloss, I would go to a pharmacy. Yet some love the new approach to glam up the drugstore aisles. That's a good thing because it's actually cheaper for you to buy the same products in the, the pharmacy, the drugstore. So the next time you seek a cure from your corner pharmacy, you may just come out with a whole new look. In Midtown, Kirsten Cole, CBS 2 News.